All right, I got Gator with me today, and we are going to be reviewing Bird Box on Netflix. And uh, <laughs> I, th I think we had some mixed feelings about that, didn't we? Yes, very much. <laughs> I I wanted to like this movie, I really did, but it was just like, have you ever seen like a cheaper version of something at the dollar store that was nowhere near as? It's just like a pale imitation. The old Godzilla. Yes, yes. It was, oh, it was just a quiet place. This is like a poor man's The Quiet Place. Like, it was so much, and I know you haven't seen that movie, but The Quiet Place did this so much better than this movie did. I mean, this, like, I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way what bothered me about this movie so bad, and that is, is it was very late. It just felt like a lot of these Netflix movies, it felt very lazy. Yes. And With what? Adam Sandler in it. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was just so lazy. It's like we blew our budget on Sandra Bullock and John Malkovich, so we're not going to show the monsters. Yeah, that drove me nuts. You never but, seen what it looked like. Just shadows. You, you can't see the monster because it'll drive you crazy. Ooh. It's like Blair Witch all over again. I'm the damn viewer. I'm supposed to see the monster. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I get like, if you go back to like Jaws, they didn't really, I mean, you didn't see the shark up until like the last 30 minutes of the movie, but it was done kind of artfully and it didn't really bother you. I mean, you got to see the shark eventually. This was, I never got my sharks. Mm -mm. I never got to see whatever the hell it was that was driving two, people crazy. Two hours of blindfolds. That's it. Two hours of blindfolds and don't look at it. I want to look at it. I'm not going to kill myself. No Show me the monster. <laughs> Do what? And no naked Sandra Bullock. <laughs> we weren't going to get that anyway. Hey, we did in one movie. Uh, yes, 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 I recall. I can't remember which one it is right off the top of my the head. One with Ryan Reynolds. Yep. And yep. White. I remember that where she moved to Canada. Yep, yep. Or something about know. Canada. She was she from, from Canada. Canada. Yeah, but <laughs> I remember that. Now that was a good movie. I haven't seen that in years. Um, but back on, t <laughs> back on topic. <laughs> Like, is it, that's, that's the, my main concern with that. What was like the ending didn't really bother me that bad. I know it drove you nuts. I mean, I would have survived. Only assholes and blind people survive. So <laughs> I, mean, that's we, I mean, that's what she was. We all, Oh God. Yeah. I mean, we would have all lived, but yeah, I was expecting more. And then she named the kids that, that was your ending. Eh, I just, and didn't even I, name the one kid that. Oh. I just, I don't know, man. It's just, I mean, I get why she did it. So I guess that was to try to kind of prevent attachment in case one of them died. I think she's related to Kratos. <laughs> Boy. Boy. <laughs> Probably. <Girl. laughs> no, Kratos wouldn't have bitched out. He'd have looked at him. <laughs> yeah, he would have. He would have murdered those assholes. Whatever they were, flying jefferson starships or whatever you or want the, to call the crazy them crazy people could look at them that's when you thought you was going to see the monster because the crazy people could see them but yes no. i know oh my god that yeah. was just the whole thing he had dude laying out like all these messed up blob sketches like this is what they look like no you should have put these in the movie that, they, those sketches look like that what was that movie uh ghost Remember the demons and ghosts? Oh, and my God, dude. Like, that's what it is. That's what's killing everybody. He could have just smeared crap on those papers, and it would have been scarier, honestly. I mean, it's, I, I, there was a lot of tension to the movie. I get it. And, I mean, there was a lot of things the movie did right. The tension parts were really good. I mean, I didn't, I didn't mind, you know, the buildup. It was just. I mean, it, it's all right. It's one of those ones that's good for a one-time watch. It was, like I said, just more lazy Netflix writing. Mm -hmm. Like, how it ends was so lazy. Like, I've got everything but an end. And they're like, shit, slap a damn slap done on it. Send it through. They made it to where they made it. That's it. Somebody where, made it down the river blind. 
Where did they go? Nobody knows. Oh, well, whatever. My favorite person in that whole movie was John Malkovich. That was it. And not every asshole made it. That's true. He didn't. Like. He would have. He was set up. Oh, God. Like, you know what line really just took me out of that whole movie, though? When they were at the supermarket and he was in there getting drunk, screaming, make the apocalypse great again. That just kind of took me out of the whole movie. I'm like, we're doing this now. I forgot about that. I was just, because that did, it just kind of like derailed the movie for me. I was like, we're really throwing shit like that in here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Whatever. Yeah, we got, we got to have our politics in there somewhere now. Can't just have a movie without politically correct and all this other mess. I just. I expected more from this movie. I, I did. I mean, you, you get some A-listers in there. I, as much as everybody's talked about it, I expected more. And it, it's just the point. Oh, I know. And then you have all these, I, I'm going to say shill reviews, because I've looked at some of the reviews for this before I watched it, and people are like, oh, it's so good. And I'm like, I finished this movie up, and I'm like, no, sir. No, that's that was... That was me trash. And my, me and my wife just looked at each other at the end and just went, like, really? <laughs> that's that's, that's like how I do Netflix movies now with my right. wife. I mean, we're just kind of like, what, are you? What did I do? I just sat here for two hours. That's it. And and this is what you get. You wasted two hours of your life for build up, no payoff. They sent you home with blue balls. Mm-hmm. Gotta watch Venom. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I would rather watch Venom. 10 more times than sit through this again. Oh, I love Venom. At least it didn't give me, <laughs> at least there was payoff. Mm-hmm. You want monster shit? Here, have all the monsters. We got, we got monsters. That's it. Wait for the second one. We got a good monster for you. Oh God, I can't wait. <laughs> we got on here to talk about the bird box and we end up talking about Venom. That's because it's better. It, <laughs> it really was. <laughs> Like head and shoulders. Oh God! I told somebody I didn't like this movie last night. I was like, "Well, it's a suspense new movie, not a horror movie." And I was like, "No, it's a I horror wasn't movie." Suspended. I, I, there was I was not on the edge of my seat. Like I watched, like I, I hate to say that I sit through another Netflix movie after this one, and it was the the Jungle Book, the Netflix Jungle Book movie. That Mowgli, yeah. dude. That one's actually I really good. I hadn't watched it yet. <laughs> it was. Uh, I've been debating. It was good. Like, <laughs> I actually enjoyed it. Like, it was nice to wash my 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 palate out after sitting through Bird Box for two hours. Yeah. A hundred times better. Oh, my God. I was like, that's like the only Netflix movie I can review positively. The rest of them, oh my god, there was another one. I'll have to do a whole video just on it, but Tallulah was garbage. I hadn't even heard of that one. Yeah, don't don't waste your time. (laughs) It was terrible. (laughs) That whole movie, the ending of it was worse than Bird Box, and like, (laughs) at least, at least Bird Box more or less had an ending. Tallulah and how it ends had no ending. It was just rushed through. (laughs) They just... They just slapped done on it. They're like, we don't got an ending. Well, we're out of time, so handle it. I need to get an ending guy. No, sh- I'll, I'll do it. Shit. Just, that's all he worries about is the ending. That's it. He comes in. He looks at it. He's like, hmm. Everybody dies. <laughs> I would have accepted, like, whatever was going on and how it ends, I would have accepted just the whole planet just, like, blowing up as opposed to the ending that I got. Mm-hmm. At least, you know, well, that's how it ends. Everybody died. No happy ending, no, no bad ending. I, and I mean, that's kind of like Netflix has their like policy now of like, you're going to have your, uh, it's like those old books, like write your own adventure. Mm-hmm. You know, you get to the end of it and they're like, what do you think happened? No, it's not my job to do your job. You, you end your movie. It's like, that was, uh, that was another main gripe I had about how it ends was like, what caused the apocalypse? What do you think caused it? No, no, 
don't put a fill in the blank movie out for me. You finish your damn movie. <laughs> finish your movie. That's right, he's son. Too. I, hear. I know he's he's agreeing with me. He said, "Finish your damn movie." Mine's back there beating on something. <laughs> But that's, that's, that's just where I'm at with these Netflix movies, dude. They've got to do better than this lazy shit they're pumping out. I'm not finished with Netflix. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to move over to Hulu. I'm actually going to start reviewing some Hulu movies. They're doing those monthly horror movies now. Oh. And, no, they did. They started in October, and that one looked really good. But the one they did for uh, December was called Puka. And it looked really interesting, and I really want to flip over and watch it, but I'm going to have to. That'll probably be my next video I do if you want to participate in that. Yeah, I got Hulu. Yeah, I want to watch Puka and do a video about it. Yeah, I'll watch that one. I'll look for it. Yeah, we've got to get you to watch A Quiet Place because that was so much better than Bird Box. I mean, it was it was what Bird Box should have been. I will, if I have to bring it to you, I will. Was, that, that was just that good of a movie. But, uh, alrighty, I think that's going to wrap this up for this review. Uh, right. If you, uh, enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. And, uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Let us know what you thought about Bird Box down in the comments.